Bon Sarah, and good evening, everybody. Yeah. Man with a plan here. Welcome back, everybody, to another beautiful dawn as the sun rises over the largest black rhino I have ever seen in my entire life. He's coming towards us. Time for us to leave. Welcome back, everybody, to Conan Exiles. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. Awesome to be back. It's been a long time, guys. It has been a very long time. I've been taking holidays, and I've had huge technical failures, and all the chaos in the world has been unleashed, as I'm sure you are all well aware. However, things are all balanced out. Brand new setup. Ran out of stamina. Brand new laptop. And I think I've got everything balanced out quite nicely. Let me know what you think down below. Greatly appreciate it. But today, people, we got a bit of catching up to do. we got a bit of catching up to do on some things. Firstly, I would like to say thank you guys so, so much for all of the love and support on the last video. Um, I wasn't actually sure if it was going to be released. It was more of just a testing setup. I just killed that rhino, and it has returned. Yeah. We need to take care of that issue today. Let's go and hide inside of the house. I was going to show you that I had uh, actually made some progress on the crops, but that rhino is going to really, really complicate things. It still takes a bit of time to kill with this... Um, iron war axe that we have, but it is doable. It is entirely doable. It's definitely a thing. I've been doing a little bit of work, as I mentioned. I've got the crops started over there. We're starting to make some aloe and starting to make some more compost. Uh, over here, I got a lot more of the bone meal all taken care of. Um, I actually wanted to make a few more spices. I have some spices. Give me the spice. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're trying to get in the house and kill me. I know, I know. Um, was it the raw that we put in here? Chuck some wood in there, turn it on. Was it the raw stuff? I feel like it was the raw stuff. It was indeed. Let's go ahead and make all of that up. We're going to need some more spices. That's definitely a thing. I'll get that going. So, I've been taking care of a couple of things, getting things a little bit more organized. I wanted to get some more shaped wood happening so that I can make another box for cooking over in the kitchen, which would make the most sense. I don't think we need these seeds for anything else. Oh, no, we do. We need for gruel, so we'll keep a few of those and we'll spice up the rest of these bad guys. Such a big house. I can't wait to get some more building done inside of this house. It's going to be amazing. Really looking forward to... Uh, it doesn't make a lot, actually, does it? We're going to need a lot of those. Definitely going to need a lot of those. Haven't played with the dryer yet. Definitely need to be looking at that. Uh, one thing I do want to do is... Uh, we made these, and I never placed them. So let's um, no, let's not start a fight with the, with the cupboard. The cupboard does not deserve to be beaten up. It's done nothing wrong. Um, what's some of this random feral fresh that we can just go ahead and drop in here, as I believe it will spoil in here in a due amount of time, hopefully not an insane amount of time. Got some random stuff here I don't really know what to do with, that I'm just gonna... Where's my icon gone? There it is. Drop into here. Let's get that uh, shaped wood going so I can build that box. As we discuss the next stages that shall be the world of Conan Exiles on the Xbox One. I'm very excited about it. Today, people, I've already made the levels, if you've seen it in the top corner there, we broke level 30. Oh, baby, level 31, actually. Um, I have turned up the experience rates just a little bit more to kind of help me out here, because, man, XP in this game is pretty brutal. We've got 13 points to play with over here. Uh, let's get that vitality up. We just got the deep breath. We can breathe longer. Yay. And the grip. Absolutely awesome. Leaving seven more for us to play with. And uh, I've gone and leveled up the accuracy, although we don't actually, we haven't used a single arrow in the game so far. Um, grit and stamina is super hugely important, so I feel, actually, I'm stamina for regeneration tick, that's nice. What's the next one of this? 25 increased damage afflicted, alright, fair enough. Falling damage is halved, my god, that would be useful. And what's this one? All temperature effects are diminished. That sounds very nice as well. They've all got their bonuses. They've all got the bonuses. But since we're using medium armor instead of the heavy, I feel like more agility will be very useful for us. But let's pump our strength. Strength, strength, and strength. Awesome. All right, beautiful. That's that taken care of. Feats over to this one. We have another... 38 points free. Oh, wow. We got quite a lot. I like how the higher level you get, the more experience points you will actually gain per level up, which is great. Here we go, baby. The larger wheel of pain, iron truncheon, and mostly a torturer's work table, a place for crafting objects of torture. Give it to me. I want it. I want it in my life right now. How do I make it? Where do I make it? Why haven't I made it yet? And I'm hoping, I'm gonna hope that I don't jinx it by saying this, that I'm not going to press the pause button anymore playing this game. I will do my absolute best to access the inventory. We still have these to play with as well. I have actually got a buttload of leather in the crafting process. Maybe we'll make that by the end of the day. That would be very nice. I feel like it would be made in here. I feel like it would. There it is. What do we need? 60 shaped wood, 50 bricks, 
200 iron reinforcements. Good gravy, Jesus. And uh, 80 pieces of twine, which is so much. So let's see here. 60 pieces of shaped wood. How much can I actually get going at the moment? That's that taken care of. There's 50. Uh, brick. If I just turn that on, that's going to make enough brick. Let's go. That's taken care of. I already got some iron cooking, but 100 iron reinforcements. Yikes. Yikes, that's a little bit costly. Thankfully, we have a lot of iron in here already. How many iron reinforcements can I actually build? 161. Let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It was 200, wasn't it? Nuts. Nuts, I feel like it was 200. Let us inspectigate this a little bit more. Scroll our way down using the thumbstick. It's actually a lot easier than pressing down a hundred times. Uh, yep, it was 200. But at least we don't actually need any iron. So let's go ahead and make another hundred of these guys too. And then we shall have to pass a lot of time. 39... Uh, feel like that was enough? No, it's not enough. We need more iron. Okay, we've got to let that cook some more iron too. Do I have any extra iron? I have no more extra iron. Okay, that's not a problem, too. All right, so all of those things are pretty much in the making and on the way. Uh, how am I in the world of twine? 72. Dang it, not quite enough twine. Thankfully, I saved some extra plant fiber over here. Let's go and... Yeah, let's take all of it. Why wouldn't we? And let's craft up some twine fun time. What do I need for this random bonfire? 260 pieces of wood. Nah. Yeah, we'll take care of that later, maybe. I want to get some more of the decoration stuff. Really, really do. That's definitely got to be a thing. Uh, let's just make 100 of that, which is all of it. That's absolutely great. I don't mind that at all. So, what we need to be doing today, people, is this rhino situation is getting out of hand. Like, seriously getting really annoying to be constantly attacked by these freaking rhinos. It's really winding me up. Uh, so we need some thralling. We need that wheel of pain, and I want some freaking thralls in my life to make this easier. Uh, we could also do with making uh, a couple of little kind of sentry posts around to fend off said rhinos, because uh, the house doesn't really have any actual defensive towers or anything at all as of yet. So that's definitely something I need to be taking a bit of time to make and have a look at. Um, I'm going to have a little idea about where to scope that out. And then, of course, we need to go thrall hunting. That's going to be the next big port of call. So I'm going to do a little bit of work around, try and build a couple of defensive sections around on this ginormous house to keep the rhinos at bay. I'll consider walls, but maybe at a later date. Uh, ooh, that's something I didn't think of. Can we open the mysterious chest of mystery that we have been unable to open so far? I would like to know if I can open that. It just keeps telling me I'm not a high enough level. I would like to know what level I need to be, or if it's actually a thing. Some updates have happened, and I don't know if it's going to change anything. You're not a high enough level. Dang it! When will I become a high enough level to open this box? If you know, then do me a favor. Let me know down below. I like our big house. Okay, cool. I'm going to get along with this and uh, build these things up a little bit and let that stuff craft and get ready. And I will bring you guys back shortly when I have everything done. And welcome back, everybody. That took a little bit of time. Those things take a long time to craft. We, we're we going to need ourselves a blacksmith. We're going to need ourselves a blacksmith. I am super encumbered at the moment because I have just, I believe I have just picked up the last piece of shaped wood that I will need to make this thing. Uh, let's have a little gander. I believe. I've also gone and built myself an actual bed to go in my bedroom and a couple of random decorational things around here. And here's our torturer's work table, which I wanted to be checking out as well because we got new things to play with. We got a brand new truncheon and brand new bindings to check out. Is that everything? Oh, wait, 56? Oh, I thought I had 60 in my inventory. I did use some to make the, um, the bed, of course. That's better. Now I'm even more encumbered. But this should lighten the load quite excessively. 200 iron reinforcement, man. That took a bit of time. We need to get ourselves a blacksmith. That has to be a thing. And some archers. I put a couple of little platforms around. Boom. Yeah, baby. Put a couple of little platforms around. Nothing too amazing, really. If I can slowly walk my way out here to show you. It's literally just a couple of standing triangles around the house. Because I know the rhinos can't get up these but I'll be able to get up them to put the archers down. Um, we need to see about actually getting a good supply of arrows. That's going to be a huge problem. That is going to be a massive problem. And I fear that it may actually just be turning morning. It's either just turning morning or it's turning nighttime. And I yes, we're free and we got another level for it. That was a good bit of XP. Oh, baby. Is it turning morning or is it turning evening? 
I don't know. I can't see the sun. Any more rhinos about to try and ram horn places where it shouldn't be? No? Okay, excellent. Alright. Let's freaking go. Let's see. If I can put this one on... A, well, yeah, the other one we were trying to put on a platform and it wouldn't allow us. But this one, I think, would look best here. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, w that's what I want right there. Literally right there? Do you think? Oh, yeah, right there. Ah, uh, that stupid plant. I'm gonna have to put it here so it hides the plant. Otherwise, I could put it there, I guess, as well. Oh, I don't know. Placement options. Mm, yeah, let's put it behind so the plant doesn't kind of clip through it and it's just like growing next to it. Put it right about. right about here. Oh, baby, yes. Look at this thing with its skulls. That's awesome. I've never built one of these ones before. And now we've got four people in pain. Absolutely fantastic. Does that mean that I can craft four people? I feel like it might be that I can craft four people. That definitely looks to be a thing. We're going to have to check that out. Let's get this torturer's table down. Oh, I see you. Oh, I freaking see you, Mr. Rhino Horn. You leave my aloe alone. Al aloe, aloe alone. Aloe alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Nobody likes you. Let's see here. I've got other things as well. Let's grab all of this. Can I take it all? Thank you. And then put the Shrine of Mitra back, because I'm still unsure where I want to put this. There you go. That's better. I'm still going to be super heavy, I imagine, for a little bit of time. i got a little bit of furnishing things that I want to put down around here. Um, mostly just to make a little bit more utilizable storage of the areas of which we actually have around here. Let me try and pop a few of these on my taskbar all at once. I don't know why I have bugs. I really don't know why I have bugs yeah. in my inventory. No, don't kick, don't kick the old campfire. There's no need to be violent with the campfire. It has done nothing wrong to you. So I've got a couple of these little boxes. I kind of want to put one just about here. And one just about here. Also at a slight dangle angle. I love it. Somewhere for us to keep our food. Cooked and uncooked. Very nice. And the same idea over here. I'd like to get a big chest. Ah, oh, can I put you on the table? Yeah, I might just put you on the table. That actually looks pretty good. That's going to be where I'm going to keep my food that's ready to go. And in this thing, I'm planning to put my food that has not yet been prepared. That I am uh, looking to make into food or ingredients and recipes and such things. Is that... Is that, is that good? I feel like it's good. Very difficult to get those things to go any closer to the back of the wall. I had the same problem with the one over there. You can you can kind of see it from here, just a little bit. Never mind. It's as good as the game will allow, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go... Wait, do I have two torture tables? Why on earth do I need two of these? I, I must have built this by accident. Never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Allows you to craft implements of torture. Where should we put this marvelous device? I feel like here, actually. I feel like here would be a nice spot for it. Let's try and get it without looking terrible. How about we try the first person thing again? You think it'll help? I believe it might. So let's go use the floor, get a nice kind of flat angle on here, lovely. And then just look straight up, straight up until it clips and move back a bit. And I'm gonna say there. Bang. I don't know why I have two of them. Is that completely and utterly beautiful against the wall? It is indeed. That's awesome. What can we make here? I had a feeling we'd be able to make these things here. We need some sticks, some iron, and some leather, and then more leather. I don't have leather on me, but I do have an insanely large amount of leather. That sounds like a great idea. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'll... Actually, you know what? I've got some leather sat in this thing. I'd rather keep the hundred there. I've got some inside of here which I have been using to attempt to craft things. In fact, did I make that? I did not. I wanted to make a rug. A hide rug. Yeah, I will make one of them. And a green carpet. How much plant fiber do I have in here? A hundred? Let's make a... red carpet and an orange carpet at the same time. Why the hell wouldn't we? A little bit of decorational things. I did want to get into this and try these things out a little bit more and see what it can actually make. I forgot to get the leather. That's what I came here for. Let's take the leather and the red rug. Red rug. Red rug. <laughs> okay, what do we want in here? We wanted some iron and we wanted some leather. Uh, and some sticks which I have floating around somewhere. Have you got sticks? Sticks for days. Uh, sticks and what else was it? I forget. So easily. So much. So fast. What else did I need? 
Oh, that was it. One of those, one of those. Let's make two of those, just to be sure. Hooray! We shall allow that thing to craft while I head upstairs and uh, stop getting angry with everything. <gasps> I feel like there's not actually a ladder. I feel like we just climb the wall. Let's climb on up here. It's a little bit of a strange way to enter. Hey, dancer lady, you're still hanging about up here. That's good to know. I don't want a, oh, a torturous table in the bedroom. That sounds like a freaking fantastic idea, doesn't it, Just No, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's get this guy, and I don't know. Let's, I feel like the hide rug would be nice in my room. I want to see what these things look like. Uh, there's like a wall hanging one there and such things and the like. Let's see here. That You are literally stood right where I'd kind of like my bedroom to be, or my bed to be. Maybe we can put it, like, here. It kind of blocks the window. Maybe here would be better. Yeah, I feel there would be a much better placement for this thing, don't you think? As long as I don't get out of my bed and then fall down the freaking hole. Let's move it a bit further over. Is, is that is that flat? I, I feel like it's not flat. Again, let's use the floor. Okay, it does look flat now. And a little, little bit less. A little, little bit less. Perfect. Beautiful. We've got a marvelous, big-looking, beautiful bed. I love it. That's amazing. What about this thing? Ooh, it sits on the floor. That's very nice. Um, let's put one here. Now I'm going to want to make another one so that it sits all beautiful. Again, first person for the win because I can't get an angle on this thing. Actually, that looks pretty good being spiky like that. Or should we have it like this? I think like this would be better. I think like this would look much better. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. How about the rug? Ooh, okay. It's not a very big rug. I'll give it that. It's not a super huge rug. Let's put it here so when we get out of bed in the morning, we've got something nice to put our toes on. Will it, will it go there? Not enough contact with ground. Oh, it has to be on the floor. Oh, no. I can't put it up here. It just doesn't quite recognize that up here is up here. You know what? Let's see if we can put it yeah, that's quite nice, don't you think? Let's go for there. We've got a carpet on the floor. Very nice indeed. How about these things? Oh, it's a little wall hanging one. That's awesome. Oh, I like that. I like that more than that torch. Peace out. Peace out, the torch. Go away. Uh, return to inventory. I want one of these ones. Oh, I love it. That that generates more light, I'm pretty sure, as well. That's pretty awesome. I like that very much. Let's have a look here. I almost pressed the start menu. Not anymore. Not anymore shall the start menu be a thing for me. Here we are. Let's, um... I feel like that's a good amount of things in here. Oh, is this like a... <gasps> Ooh, it's like a roof hanging one. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, it's just a little bit longer roof hanging one. Oh, oh I've got to do that. I've got to do that, because that'll look great hanging from that point. Let's go... There. Can't really see it, but look at the light in here now. That's much better. I like it. Okay, we're done in here. Oh. Scooch our way down to the floor. So we've got another one of these amazing hanging things. I'm wondering... Are they attached like here? Oh, they will. Ooh, very nice. Now, I have quite high ceilings, so there might not really be a very good spot for me to put this. Ooh, maybe here. I go right to the, right on the tip. I like it. Yeah, very nice indeed. Very very nice. How about this thing? Oh, it's like a, one of the cauldron ones, only without the cauldron over it. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm. How about this? Is actually quite a big room. I could probably go. Yeah, there's enough light over there. I'm not sure. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. How about we use it outside to light these poor fools' misery? That's quite nice. Yeah, again, I'm going to want another one of those. Yeah, we'll put another one over here. That'll be awesome. I like that very much. Is there anything else I wanted to place down here? There is indeed. The fish traps, which I built and completely forgot about. I've got to get those guys down. And we also have some carpets to play with. Don't know where I'm feeling to put some carpet down. Just have a little look. Oh, I know where we can put some carpet down. And we need to pay a visit up there, actually. Let's go and visit the Shrine of our Goddess. The Shrine of Deraketo. It is very dark and sad in here at the moment. We need to definitely get some decoration down here. Maybe we can do, like, can this go on here? 
Ooh. Oh, wait, overlapping with another object. Eh, well, we can put one like this. Yeah. That's nice. And then we could get the green one and put that here. Try and get it to look about the same, but my head's in the way. Uh, uh, uh. Where do you line up to? Okay, just parallel to that little ledge there. I feel it's going to be something like this. How does that look? Very nice indeed. Very nice. Okay, we're not going to be able to put any fish traps in here, uh, but we will be heading out to go and investigate the area. So we want to be able to get this thing to gather people's unfulfilled desires, which is just some stick and stone. I'll grab that. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. I will grab that when I'm getting everything ready. Um, in the meantime, fish traps. That was it. Fish traps. Must not forget the fishy traps, because we need these dudes to be able to get a good amount of spoiled meat quite easy. I'm assuming they're going to go in here just fine. Not enough contact with the ground. Okay, it's literally, it's on the ground. Ah, yeah, we got to go. We got to go deeper. We have to go a little bit deeper. I feel like it should be facing something like that. And then another one. Where's our house? Just there. How ah, about another one? We jumped on it. Round about here. Like it. Very nice. And we'll do the same with the crab pots. You can't place them right on the shoreline anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but also makes perfect sense. Let's put one of them there. And another one, I don't know, over here. Kind of give them a bit of space between themselves so they don't look terrible. Okay, how about... Okay. Alright, out there it is. Excellent. They will slowly fill up over time with some fishies for me, uh, which we can press into some ichor which will be really good for us when we're making our hardened materials, which is going to be absolutely great. All right, cool. So that's taken care of. We've got our truncheon and our amazing... Yeah, truncheon, that guy, and amazing bindings now, which is going to be absolutely great. I'm going to have a double check on my equipment, which I believe is inside of this box. Uh, I'm going to take that. I'm not going to worry about the skinning knife or the arrows or such things. I've got one healing potion left. I'll bring it with me just in case. And a little bit of stick and stone for our dagger, and we're going to be good to go. And then I'm going to head out exploring, and we're going to try and get ourselves a load of thralls. I know there's a carpenter normally over there opposite me, uh, but I'd like to see who else I can potentially find. I can find archers over there as well, which I feel like is going to be a very good thing for me too. And we can slaughter them and harvest their unfulfilled desires. And it's going to be beautiful and amazing. Uh, what did I need? Sticks, I remember. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready. I'll catch you in just a little bit. All right, a little bit of plant fiber goodness for me, as we will need this to make some more gruel for these guys. I'm wondering if you can use other foods. It kind of would make sense that if you gave them something like, I don't know, like the spiced haunch, that it would be better, because it's a more complicated recipe, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully, we'll find some little archer dudes over here. They're not going to be anything amazing, but I haven't got time to go uh, explorating and find ourselves another camp nearby, as we've already spent a bit of time in this episode uh, building some things and talking about what we're doing and planning things out and such of the likes. But I feel like this will be a good bit. We at least can take a couple of these guys. I'm absolutely sure of that. They have all the plant fiber. This is where I come for my plant fiber over here. Definitely is the thing. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of archers there. I see you with your bows. Oh, what the? Woo! You scared the crap out of me! <laughs> Stupid snake! Good God! You scared the freaking bejesus out of me. We gotta find some antidotes for poisons and such other like too. What do we got over here? You are definitely an archer. You are also an archer. You're the fighter. The Muria the Artisan. Worshipper of Mitra. I feel like I should enslave you because you're an artisan. You may be able to make me some beautiful things at some point. This guy attaching to the foot is normally the carpenter. Yeah, little carpenter one, that's okay. And what are you, are you a fighter? You are indeed a fighter. Okay, that's pretty good. I would like archers more than anything in my life right now, so let's pick a dude here. How about this dude in his loincloth? He looks quite beautiful. How's it going, buddy? Bonk on the head. Bonk on the head. Bonk on the head. Bonk on the head. Yep. All over for him. He's out cold. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in a little bit. I believe I can uh, knock out and enthrall more than one of you at a time. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'll, I'll see you soon. I love how they're not too worried about it. They seem totally calm. Come on, buddy. Such dignity dragging you through the dirt and naked. 
It's okay, you don't need dignity where you're going. What you need to do is get into ha 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 surely is an archer excellent let's get some gruel made up for this guy although you know what am i carrying spice haunch i'm not i'm carrying the normal meat i wonder if this will be better let's try well not the normal meat it's the roasted haunch it's the exotic stuff because i have so many rhinos around my house uh, let's see what this kind of does well it does indeed work oh burn time four hours and 44 minutes does that last longer than gruel is that why it's better Hmm, how curious. Because admittedly, if I don't have to use gruel, I won't have to keep picking freaking plant fiber all the live long day, uh, which would be great. Let's just put this 10 in and see what this does in comparison to uh, 10 pieces of haunch. Let's try it. Um, I'm going to have to split you. Uh, and split you again. And split you again. And then if I split you, no, no, wrong button. If I split you, that'll give me three, and if I combine, oh, good lord, what happened? And if I put the seven in there, and the three in there, I get ten. Let's turn it off. Current fuel, yeah, one hour, 59 minute on that. Okay, that's good. Let's take that back, and let's put in ten of this. Nine minute. That's why it's better. It lasts longer. Okay, excellent. That's really good. So I can feed the rhinos to these guys because I have an excellent amount of food for that there. Beautiful. Let's try the next test of seeing if we can do two at a time. Two at a time, two at a time. Double thralling adventures. Random crocodile attack. No. Bad crocodile. Okay, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, knocking people unconscious and dragging them through the dirt. I do enjoy this part very much. Wait, is there another archer appeared here? Look at you with your club. Have you people respawned and, like, changed? You freaking have. Are you still a carpenter one? Look at that very shiny mace that you have. That's a mighty mine mace you have. Mighty, mighty fine mace you have. Quite like the look of her with her red hair and her big rock on a stick. Fantastic weaponry, but uh, I'm in the market for archers, so hi buddy, how's it going? I feel like... I feel like you. How's it going there, dude? Oh no, I just had my freaking potion. Never mind, bonk on the head! We good? We cool, bro? Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Let's go. And I don't know if we can actually put two in here. It's entirely just for testing purposes. And I have an abundance of these guys right outside my house. They're only level ones, but they'll do just fine to ward off the rhinos. Yes, I know there's a thing there. It's totally fine. I love how you can run with these fools now. It's absolutely great. All right, what happens if... I can. Oh. <gasps> I can put loads of them in here. Fantastic. All right. This is going to be me for the next uh, little bit of time. I'm going ahead and filling this up with some archers to place around. Um, and probably slaughtering a few rhinos to be able to feed them quite well. Which is going to be absolutely freaking great for me. I'm going to grab that Muralia the Artisan as well. And uh, see what she potentially can do for us. Because I don't know what happens when we thrall her. It seems interesting to me. I would like to know what this is. There's a lady archer. Yeah, we got two guy archers. We need a lady archer. Hello, my dear. How's it going? Don't mind me. Just a quick little bonk on the head. Oh, she's trying to fight. She's trying to fight. She's going to fight back. And she really didn't fight back at all. Never mind, nevertheless. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here, guys. I'm going to grab loads of these little archer dudes to place around the house. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, that should help continue being a little bit more protected from the rhinos. I'm trying to have an idea of what I'll be up to in the next episode, but I'm kind of taking it as it comes, taking it nice and slow, exploring the game as it kind of progresses onwards. We need to find a good thrall camp at some point, and brimstone is one of my next options because I want to start making steel stuff. But with a few more levels and XP, we're going to get a load more stuff as well. It's going to be great fun. 
And yeah, I'm really quite enjoying this. I love this big wheel of pain. It looks awesome. If you guys are enjoying it too, do me a massive favor, my friends. Hit the like button for me. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. All of those beautiful things that help me out so much with the support that you give me. Thanks very much for your love and support on the channel and especially on Conan Exiles. Glad you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Take care there, everybody. All the best. And I can't wait to see you all again soon.